A sleepy little town. Who would have thought such a location with zero crime would attract such a revolution? Yet the neighbors are in an uproar because squirrels aren't just everywhere. They're acting oddly, performing human behavior and feats that never thought possible. Wow, when my friends first said it, I thought they were dumb. But I saw it for myself. You know, I thought Planet of the Apes for sure. I was Planet of the Squirrels. It was Sodom and Gomorrah. Sin and debauchery. There was about four of them there, squirrels. It was a squirrel orgy. Them squirrels over there with the pizza pizza, and I called for mom, and they dropped it and ran. They revolt, they revolt. Who cares? Both times must have out to their right. Amongst neighbors' concerns, we, the I team, decided to investigate. We donned our best squirrel camouflage and hunting outfits and decided to track the squirrels where Kayla said she last saw them. Notice the sign. They just say no squirrels in park, but they don't listen. Can they read? Let's go. Ruins of a once squirrel advanced civilization. Evidence was found as we continued our search. Flowers smashed, tiny footprints. Can't really see them, but they're there. Let's go. After hours of searching, we followed a clue that would take us to the squirrel leader. And if we weren't surprised beforehand, we were surprised when we met him. No, I will not bow down and kneel before Furby. This is America. He has no right whatsoever. Let, let me go interview him. Furby. Of course, he doesn't talk now. Furby. We might give him some space. Furby. Furby. Why do you lead this revolution of squirrels? When easily, you must know that the squirrel has no rights. Is that correct? Furby! You must die. <gasps> so using my wicked ways, I battled the furb until he got a hold of me. <gasps> no. Oh. My name is Jackie, squirrel reporter, hero, coming to you live in Norman.